Right, Charlie Tango One coming at you here with um, a very different video. This is a request actually for a gentleman who commented on um, one of my little um, methylated stoves that I got from the Scouts. Um, he noticed in the background on my um, shed wall um, these little things, these little gypsy cages. I had about three or four of them like, you know, but um, I gave one to my daughter and um, I've kept this one and I've got another one hanging up there. Um, pretty basic, but this is what I, this is like my, the deluxe one. If you want to do it, I can um, <coughs> uh, explain to you, but uh, it's, it has a false bottom on this one, uh, so you can clean out if you get stuff underneath the, the tray that collects the I don't know, sawdust or whether you want to put sandpaper down there um, but really it's um, you can only keep a very small bird in there these were originally made by the gypsies um, my wife's a, um, a Romany gypsy from, from back in her family um, and this is the sort of little gypsy cages we used to hang up they used to hang up on the back of their caravans um, mainly <laughs> a little legal although it is they always should try and catch goldfinches and put a goldfinch in there beautiful song they really have you know I did used to breed them in my aviary um, and then I released the parents and I bred from from the uh, youngsters um, which you were allowed to do then anyway that's going away from it isn't it um, just a little bit of a history of it um, this is the um, cage that you like. You need to get yourself, as I mentioned, get yourself some uh, bicycle spoke wheels. You find some old bike somewhere, just take a pair of side cuts with you and cut the spokes off. Um, you can work out the size yourself with a drill. Right, <coughs> you can pause this anywhere you like <coughs> when I give you the size each time. This is just a fancy little a hook that you hang up. You can either put it on a bit of leather or whatever. Right, the, all these little grooves and everything here, these, these are all little things I might, this is my own little touch, otherwise it's plain wood. Now, this type of wood is, uh, I'll give you the thickness of the wood so that you know what you're dealing with. And it looks like you're dealing with, give me very, Three eight woods. You're dealing with three eight wood. That's what you're dealing with. Right. Where are we? One two three eight. See it? You. Double check. Double check. Go into the. One two three eight. Yeah. Three eight wood. It's not very thick. I think the wood that they use is. Um, uh, what was the, uh, when you make these, you know these sheds, the wooden sheds, uh, when you get the tongue and groove, it's not really thick stuff, I think that's about the size, same thickness as this, so that'll give you an idea if you've got some tongue and groove stuff, get some off cuts from the B&Q store, they put it in a separate bin. Right, moving away from that, let's get the first measurement in for you, young man. This is a bit time consuming but um, I've, had to, I've just laid me um, slip leads and collars to one side to get this for you. I don't, I don't like to disappoint anyone. Right, first we're going to go across the width here, which you will find is, well, it's ten and three quarter inches. Okay, right to the end, that's the finished size. That's for the roof, right? Uh, by, where are we, eight and five eighths, eight inches, eight and five eighths, that's across. <coughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> this one is going to be a little bit less because you're going inside these these legs. So I'll give it that measurement uh, across the top. In between each leg is that's ten inches. This piece across here is ten inches. But um. Right, that's that one. Now, from the bottom to the to here, let's measure that one for you. Oh, the highest point, which is this piece here down to there is four inches you can reduce it down wherever you like it's personal choice how you do it or you can just go straight across but if you're going to go straight across you don't want four inches you want to be a little less um, the reason it's four inches is because the feeder tray is this end uh, which I'll show you later so the far end is dropped down to three inches at this end okay um, I will show, try and show you any close-ups that I can. I might have to bring the cage closer to the camera because if I hold the camera it's going to be moving all over the place. And um, you can design this however you like. I just put the gold marker pen stuff. This, this, you want the thin pencil one, metallic marker stuff. That's what you want. You know, something like that will do it. Okay. And you got the, you got the really thin ones as well. Pilot gold marker. Just remember, you can stop this video wherever you like if you're reading sizes out or anything like that. So um, let's go, that's the front. Now the back will be a little bit different because you are, um, you are covering the whole back. So the full size of this will be ten and three quarter inches across there ten and three quarters I would like to have had the camera up close so you can see the measurement but it means I've got to keep you know bringing the camera up uh, moving the camera about then the height of it will be eight and five eighths that's the height eight and five eighths <coughs> we've already done the top we've done the back now the back this piece here is part of this panel so it's not it's not a leg like this one this is a, a piece of leg uh, or a square which which is bear with me <coughs> that's a piece of square three eighths three eighths square you might have to cut it down if you've got a, um, a, a, a round saw or something to three eighths. But as I say, it's, I think it's all out of this wood. Even even this side panel is the same piece of wood <coughs> that they use uh, for making sheds, tongue and groove stuff. I'll give you this size now because you'll need to know that. Again, you can make your own pattern or if you want to make it fancy the wood that's down there you can do it with what they do these little um i forgot what they call these little jigsaw things they, they, it goes up and down very quick um they're brilliant for making that stuff yeah, all this type of stuff right now this side panel is three inches top to, oh, where are we? top to bottom three inches width 
do it around this way because from the post to the back panel obviously on the inside that's where it's going on the inside of this back panel that is well they're showing that as 8 inches <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh, still got this tickly cough right 3 inches by 8 inches this particular one here with a feeder hole, I don't know if you can see that, let's, let's bring it up because I don't know if you can see it. See that feeder hole? Now that, you can get them off an old budgie cage. So you can get budgie cages, that sort of stuff. If you see one anywhere, just cut all the cut all these off, these bars off. You know, you, you can make it out of that because you, you actually drill little holes in here and in here to put them down through. Um, so I'll be inclined to put them all in there and then line them up with the holes down here um, of which the bars are part the holes are part are half an inch apart these, these bars so which would be like um, canary, a canary um, cage or budgie cage right that's that size done um, don't forget, as I say, you can stop the video wherever you like when I mention a size uh, down. So you can stop it, jot it down on paper, then you've got it. Right, um, let's do the other side. We've done the back, we've done the top. We've done this end, we're now doing this end. Now, you can have them straight across there, them pieces of wood, if you want. I've, I've chose just to dish it down and you know over it, make it a little bit fancy. That's all, because that's what that's what they were. We used to fan, fancy them. One of the bars goes straight through this wood, and that wood, which gives you your, your swivel for your door. That's okay. They're all half inch apart. Now this this bit might be a little bit complicated for you, but if you don't want to do this type. You can just do one with a fixed floor and you can still have your little slider. So um, these are brass, these little fittings. You, you, even get, you can get some of this stuff from them, like hinge and brackets if you know who they are. Now, um, this drawer, uh, no the side, sorry, is again three inches. From there to there is three inches, all right? Same with the width here, which I think we said was eight, didn't we? Yeah. From the inside to here is eight inches. But I'll be inclined, as I say, to do all the inside first before you put the bottom on, anything like that. Um, <coughs> So that's the door done. Um, you can work out the size of yourself so that it comes, uh, you know, there so you can bring it up close so you can see it. Okay, so you see how the door's done. Okay. Now, let's close that up. Now the grit tray. <coughs> Here we go again. Now here's the tray, you just pull it out like that, now that tray is, you put two pieces of wood here on this, put two pieces of wood there, you could use one single piece if you wanted to make it, If you, I'll give you the size for one single piece because you don't, uh, you don't really need two pieces there as such use panel pins to, to do a lot of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the outside right to the outside edge because you'll need that for this size right now the outside uh, <coughs> edge um, where are we? Yeah. 
if you don't want the panel pins on there, smack through there to fit onto here, then you could use the same width of wood and then put a piece of wood on top, glue a piece on top of that piece. Um, that hides the panel pins. Um, it's up to you, but you can see what the size is there. So I'm going to give you the size. Um, of the tray but not including this extra wide piece here okay so that's that's an odd size isn't it good god I think that's supposed to be ten yeah it's looking like ten inches from there to there in length and then we're gonna go eight inches across Right, that's 10 inches by 8 inches. This end piece here, that <coughs> if you want to, <coughs> excuse me, stick this on, is obviously going to be the same size, 8 inches. Um, and the thickness of this edge here is 5 eighths. So that's 5 eighths down there. Okay, which will be five eighths. No, it won't. That will be five eighths. But these side panels, because you're putting it on this ply ply board, the width of that is going to be half an inch. Half an inch across here with this piece of wood. Okay, by. A quarter of an inch thick. It's all three three ply. This is this is three ply. Okay, so that's not a problem. You can get three ply wood. Um, but the base that's very thin ply. That is that's an eighth, one eighth. That is one eighth thick. That ply. But this is three ply. The other stuff, these these edges that you make, is made out of three ply. And as I said, it's um, five eighths. It's half inch. It's half inch. This ply, this piece, three ply, but it's by half inch. Okay. You can always stop the video and go back if you miss those sizes. Now. <coughs> Sorry about this cough. Now this is a, a false bottom one. Okay. And basically it's just like the top of this. But we put a false bottom on it. So I'm going to now turn it upside down. No I'm not. I'm going to give you this size first. Tray back in there. Right, little feeder tray. The holes in it, the holes for this tray, one and a half inches across here. One and a half inches by one inch. One inch. Inch and a half. Three ply wood again. <coughs> All three ply going round here. And you need to cut that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> the bottom is that thin, thin ply again. Very thin. One eighth, I think I said, didn't I? Something like that. Yeah, or sixteen, something like that. Um, if it's too tight to get in this hole that you've made, then just sand it down a bit. Right, the sides, three ply, three ply, but the sides are seven eighths is the size you want this piece here. Because then when you get this little thin ply there, it, it, it's coming out at an inch, okay, which is that. <coughs> 
that's what goes in there okay um, you can do that in the box section if you want um, you can always add this front piece on later which is what I've done it's just a piece of wood um, and you can uh, you can make the fanciness as you like obviously it's got to be a little bit bigger than the box you'll see there look a little bit bigger so so that it, it covers this slot I'll show you Hello so okay bring it up close just so you can see okay that's that now this little pocket here is purely for grit oyster grit you want a very tiny small oyster grit um, they must have the grit light to digest the food from the gizzard it crunches it up so there's that little baby I'm going to give you that size now this is, is tapered as you can see we tapered this edge and uh, and um, one of these I've taped here you want a flat edge really flat can you see flat edge just to continue along there <laughs> excuse me the reason for that is oh I'm going to sneeze excuse me Bless me, right. The reason for that, that flat edge, is because you're going up against the side panel. There, see? So you don't want this tapered in. You don't have to have that tapered in either. This one here, well, you don't have to have that tapered in. You can have it square, like like this side. You know, it's not it's not compulsory. And I've got a little piece of wood in there um, that I hold that stops this tray from dropping like that. Okay, I'll show you that from the underside. You can work that measurement out with that little piece of wood when you put this in situ. Um, I don't know if this is putting you off all this, all this measurements and that. Now this tray I've done. Um, You've got to put this piece on extra um, so you can get hold of it. Otherwise it'll be flush with the front and you won't be able to get hold of it. Now that tray I've done um, at two and, a, two and one eighth is the length of that. And the width is one and a quarter. You see? Where are we? One and a quarter. That's what that is. And the length. Done it upside down, didn't I? There's the length so you can see it. Get it right so you can see it. There you go. Two and an eighth. Right. That's that. And as I say, you just need to make this piece a little bit bigger than the size of the tray. So it covers up the gap round there. I'll, I'll make this square. I'll make this side square the same as that side. Now, and that will slide in there. Now the hole, um, it's common sense really, you measure that size, that's what it's going to be. So the hole for that is going to be... Where are we going down to? Well, it's going to be the width of this, isn't it? Which is an inch, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter across there. By... That's got a slope there. I don't know why they slope that. Where are we?
they've got that at three quarters of an inch that that piece there it's showing three quarters of an inch Yeah, three quarters of an inch, that's what it's showing there, across there. But again, you could do that. You you don't have to have that tapered up like that. You see it's tapered both sides. You don't have to have it like that. You could have it square if you want. You know, um, it would make it a lot bloody easier, I can tell you that. And so if you're going to make it square, seven eighths. You want to go seven eighths and make this whole square as well. Don't taper it up like they are, just make it um, square. Seven eighths, alright? Yeah, that'll do that. So that's seven, seven eighths up and what was it, inch and a quarter across. Right, that's done now. Oh, it's going to be a long old video for you, mate, ain't it? But I'm, I'm just trying to make it easy for you so, so you're not having to guess all your measurements. Right, we've done the side, the top, sides, back and front. And we've done this, we said it was three inches, didn't we? Yeah, we've done that piece there. The door, you can see is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got eight bars on the door, give you an idea. Any smaller than that, you're going to have a job to get your hand in. Right, the back you can either hang it or I had this hanging up outside my back door and I put a couple of holes in it so I put some screws on the wall. Um, I'll show you the type of holes I've done and you can just slot it, slot it down, see? You just slot that down on against the wall and it, it was great. Right, now to make it easy for the inside um, that's like, well, I can't see it from that side, can you? Alright, I'll try it. 